everyone, today I'm gonna be showing you, let's do some cuts on this amazing machine, the Omtech 50 wall laser. Okay, I am using the smaller length lens, which is the 1.5 inch. Um, but let's do some cutting, maybe some small engraving at the same time, and then we'll see how it goes, okay? So bear with me, and let's go ahead. Let me give you a better look, maybe a closer look with the machine. So first thing we'll do, we'll turn the machine. Of course, the machine is going to start homing to the left all the way. And one thing really that does bother me on this machine here is the manual adjusting, especially if you're changing material, if you're doing rotary. This guy is a manual adjusting up and down. Maybe I will purchase actually the, the Omtech do have a Z access automatic Z access. I'm gonna probably purchase it today and wait for it. I'll make a video for you guys how to install it because I'm getting tired of manual up and down. It's not a big deal, honestly, but it's just especially if you're doing rotary back to engraving, cutting. You can see I've been doing a lot of stuff and it just get tiring after a while. So maybe a motor will be something nice. So let's go ahead, put something in here, take a picture of it and do a cutting and we'll go from there. Okay. So we just start recording basically on light burn. I'm gonna have the video. What I'm gonna do, I have this here is a testing RAM basically. It's for my focus, you know. Uh, I made a table for focus. So I'm gonna put a piece of wood and I'm gonna try to align it with the laser and let's do a cut to make sure how it's cutting, okay? So let's give me a, let me get a piece of scrap wood that I'm probably not gonna use anywhere. And I'm gonna open the pass-through door. I'm gonna light put this guy through a pass the door, well maybe not, okay, but we'll just, we'll take this area here, I will have to open the pass through door, and let the material slide in, and I'm going to use magnet just to hold it down, uh, let's see, we have some strong earth magnets, I have a bunch of them, just one of them, one and a half of them, two, one here, one here, and with my camera, I'm going to take a picture. Okay, uh, I'm going to go here. And we're going to take a picture of the bed. It should show us where's the object at. And I'm going to just choose this guy. This, uh, let's grab with the number together. I'm kind of engraving the numbers. And something like this. We can actually do a, uh, right now, frame, just to see the frame laser is gonna be somewhere now I am not focused so what I'm trying to build I'm gonna try to build a backup of this guy actually okay and I just, I just fly up with it is the actually my cleaning kit for the lens okay so we need to focus I'm using the five uh, millimeter box basically to focus so I'm gonna jog the laser somewhere over here and then I'm just gonna again go up manually with a bed And we're gonna focus something over here, okay? So I am focused, let's run, go home. And then we're gonna frame it again to see where I'm gonna get cutting. Very close to the edge, it's not bad. I can move it up a little bit more, my design. And then we should be good. And then we can start, so I have two. I have first actually cutting then the actual engraving we're gonna switch we're gonna put the engraving up okay we're gonna change the speed we're gonna do a 350 it's gonna be fast very fast okay and uh, the 30 we don't need that much power we need 30 power minimum we'll do 20 okay and then uh, I'm just doing lying anyway I can do this full for the Harakeve and here of course my uh, Interval, I'm gonna do a 0 0.105. That was the best interval I can come up with for my laser. I do have a video actually for you guys showing you guys the difference between the interval and the actual laser. Okay, how important is to find your interval? So, 0 0.105 is my interval I'm gonna choose. That gives me 241 lying per inch, and then we're gonna check everything the cut this is a thin material I can go all the way up to 
18 if I want to okay so I'll do 18 percent I need 85 power minimum and maximum 85 okay click OK and then I'm gonna close the bed cover let me pause the camera maybe I try to give you a better look on the camera too okay give me a minute star and let's go first it's gonna engrave see it's doing very very small details and this lens I'm using is the 1.5 millimeter lens so it does amazing detail 1.5 inch I'm sorry focal length and it does amazing detail on the actually engraving okay so after it does engraving finish engraving we're gonna go actually and uh, do the cut it should be fast too I'm just gonna use actually the five millimeter the five, the first step for the focus length for this guy but I already made the ram why not I'm just gonna show you guys the cutting and the, actually the whole thing I was cutting See, it's doing it very fast actually you can see the wood already dropping and that's it the wood drop the case take the magnet put them away and take the piece out and voila here's the actual cut with the engraving let me zoom in and show you how detailed the engraving. Uh, let me open light maybe. That should help a little bit. You can see it does an amazing job on small details. This is very small writing. Actually, this is, uh, is amazing, guys. Uh, this is, I'm going to show you how small this writing is, something about 2 millimeter. Okay. I can go smaller, I had tried it before, I went smaller, but this is basically the step ram that I'm going to be using for my focus, focus. I usually use this guy, that's how small it is, this thing, between one, 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 the bottom of my lens, all the way to the top, it's about 4.85 millimeter focal, okay? <coughs> Yeah. So we're gonna open Lightburn, and I'm actually gonna uh, import the file. Okay, I got an I, like an I file. It's a very nice file, actually. A very I, I actually adjusted it in uh, in Lightburn. I mean in a Photoshop. So here's an I. Let me just show you the picture of it. It's something like this. Very simple. And what we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna right click and we're gonna. Uh, adjust the image in light burn okay now of course it depends on how many step per rotation you have actually the uh, interval so I have two so of course it look very bad so my best uh, interval I have used is 0 1.5 okay that's the best interval and then of course you can adjust the image okay how dark you want it how light so let's do something like this light maybe uh, something like this I adjust this guy a little bit, make it a little darker. Okay, and then I'm gonna use actually not Travis. I'm oh, I'll use I'll use Travis. That's fine for this. Heck of it. And we're gonna click OK. Now with Travis, this is how it's gonna look. We're gonna choose our speed. We're gonna change our speed to 350. Okay. Uh, with this wood, I'm gonna choose my power because again, each wood will have a different power. This one, I'll do like uh, 60. I'll do 60, I mean 30 power. We'll do maybe 32. And then the minimum I'll do 20. Again, I chose Travis, one, uh, 
105 let's give us uh, 241 dpi leave it as it is click ok maybe I'll make this picture let's see how big is this picture it is 100 something millimeter so let's make a smaller ok just to be fast 50 millimeter more than enough and then uh, we're gonna choose we're gonna go to the camera right now ok we're gonna put the piece of wood ok and I'm gonna somehow put magnet I'm gonna choose something like this here. I'm going to engrave it somewhere over here. Trying to give you guys better angle. Okay. Magnet here. Magnet here. Yeah, engrave it somewhere over here. Let's take a picture and light burn. Okay. Of the actual piece of wood. Zoom out and I'm going to put the eye somewhere over here. Okay. You can make it a little bigger. Okay. And let's just do a frame on it. Should be good. And then I can actually, what we can do is zoom in. So here's the eye. We can actually take a, a box around it and just cut it after that. Just cut the eye after that. And make the box right as we did earlier. Same speed. For Then it's going to actually engrave, then it's going to cut it. Okay? And let's go ahead and do the engraving. Minute. Okay. Let's double check our focus. Just in case of a change or anything. Remember, we have our focal length. So the focus better now. Okay. And we're going to click play. Let's engrave this guy. This is live as you guys can see it. I'm gonna fast forward this area here just so you guys don't have to wait for the whole video. Okay? So here's done. So here's the actual picture. And let me show you some detail of the actual eye on the wood. You can see almost everything showed up. Even look at this. Look at this how amazing the tear. It looks amazing. Okay. Now the best thing is to find your interval. The editing, look at it. That is an amazing picture, guys. Okay. I have not even cleaned it. I have not did nothing. Not not did not even use a brush. Let me a little bit brush it, maybe. See if I can make it look better. I just a little bit, just brushed it, and still the same. It's amazing detail. Okay. So it's all about finding your actual uh, interval and tuning your setup and everything else. That looks almost the same as you can see it in the actual light burn. And look at the tear. It looks like a real tear coming up and honestly guys it's nothing it is nothing it's not like a water drop or something it's just the way 
be darn great. Okay? Amazing. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment below. Leave a like. Thank you very much. And have a nice day.